Today, I am issuing a report that is a blueprint for reform. Reform that will make NYCHA more accountable, more efficient, and more responsive to taxpayers and tenants. We do that by reforming and expanding the NYCHA current board. We're going to add a second tenant board member to give tenants a greater voice. We're going to demand more transparency for an agency that tends to operate in its own universe. But let's face it, we've got some real problems. It's a problem when $42 million of money on, for cameras and security remain unspent. And it's a problem when major repairs that tenants need simply go undone for years and years to come. Now here's my proposal. I would expand the NYCHA board. I'd go from four board members to seven. Two of them would be tenants and would serve for two year fixed terms. The rest would serve as the pleasure of the mayor. No board member would make $187,000 a year for doing very little or nothing at all. We'd have a strong chair that operates this system and we would finally go about the business of running this agency in a responsible way. I and my staff have tackled numerous issues within NYCHA developments. It takes at least a year to get apartment doors fixed, to get toilets fixed, closet doors fixed. Forget about painting. You're not going to get your apartment painted. What is important is making sure that the people who put their sweat equity into these buildings, into this city, get to live in decent, affordable housing.